Okay. Good morning, student. It is your English class, and I am going to teach you uh, the first chapter of that's Ivan's story. You are in standard two or uh, standard five, student, and uh, you have to learn about this. At home, you must have to read this text thoroughly. That means it may be twice or thrice. If possible, you may learn or uh, read it twice or thrice. Then you can learn the half of the text. Otherwise, how can you understand the text? And how can you able to read uh, the answers and questions what is given to you in your holidays homework? It is quite difficult for you to understand it. So, just I'll tell you the gist of the story after reading, and also tell you about the difficult words, its meaning, and something more to learn. Even story extracted from the novel, the one and only Ivan. It was a child novel. Thus, it is full of adventure. It was written Catherine of Ligat, the American author or American writer, one of the famous American writer. Catherine of Ligat, the writer. The story, Ivan's story. Who is Ivan here? If you learn this text, then you can understand. Who is Ivan, like you or another one? Here, Ivan is a gorilla. Here, Ivan is a gorilla who tells its life towards you. I'll tell you later the gist of this topic. Today, just you may have to learn this topic or difficult words like this. Just you have to read with me and know the all text better, and then I'll tell you the. Gist of this or summary of this topic, and also explain what is move. Okay, Ivan is a gorilla who lives in a castle at a mall. He has spent twenty-seven years either living in a human home or at the mall. The story told by Ivan is about how he has nearly forgotten his life in the wild. The book was inspired by the true story of Ivan, who lived in a similar situation for 27 years. He has already left his uh, own place from being when he was it was little. Uh, it lived in the central uh, Africa, maybe uh, central Africa, in the dense forest, in a uh, rainforest. But here it was kept by someone. In a mall, so it is a story. We can't uh, tame such animals for our pleasure or for our entertainment. We can't breed them. We can't uh, root for them in this way. This is the theme. But later I'll tell you. Now you are the text for you. Just to listen and uh, just remember uh, which is the particular pronounces pronunciation. Uh, and uh, how can I read? Just may follow and uh, practice it at home. The gun. It is a small sound made, but that means your gun means gun. Gun says the hog. It the sound uh, a lower sound or a short sound uh, made uh, made by figures or animals. Okay, the gun. I was born in a place humans call Central Africa, in a dense rainforest, so beautiful, no cranes could ever do it justice. Gorillas do not name their newborns right away, the way humans do. We get to know our babies first. We were to see hints of what might it be. When they saw how much she loved to chase me around the forest, my parents decided to my twin sister named Tag. Oh, how I loved to play tag with my sister. She was normal. But when I got too close, she would leap onto my unsuspecting father. Then I would join her and I would bounce on his belly until he gave us the gun, a sound that meant enough. That game never got hold, although my father might have disagreed. Here is its old story. Here is, uh, in this topic, we have to learn two parts. Uh, which was the past 
what he was in he was in past and the present now what he was that means wo abhi kya hai abhi kya tha uske bare mein hum discuss karna hai in this chapter pehle its name was not e1 it was name or uh, anything that's more it may be uh, we may got its name or uh, evans former leg or prior leg was uh, mud but now present it was uh, it changed and uh, we were also well known about its name is uh, evan so uh, first i'll tell you the topics and then i am uh, going to tell you the gist or the summary of this uh, topic and uh, also difficult words difficult words are given also here if you learn this uh, a uh, gand or in forest no kinds uh, could do they, uh, ever do it all these words difficult words are given and uh, uh, it's explained nicely its meaning was explained nicely here uh, in the left side of the topic so before you read this stanza while you may learn some difficult words from the text and uh, underline it and better you may find such meaning uh, its meaning from your dictionary book for your work. because you can't get plenty of time at home to learn this such well and also learn thoroughly at home if you feel this word is difficult these words are difficult for me better you may search all these meanings and well learn about the topic and thoroughly uh, thoroughly you may learn the meaning and if you are able to learn these meanings then you can do the answers what are given to you and you may remember all these things better okay now mud mud means that is that you know the mitti mud but here it, it didn't take long for my parents to find my name you have also name i have also name my name is niranjan ira and you so uh, you so all have name that's like uh, jack peter and uh, swathi and other names are uh, like this or what maybe you also have names all these names for what it is our recognize so for me that means someone knows by this name to us suppose i'll call you ram please come here you just listen that's your name is ram and you come to here because i just call you okay in this year in this year is the mud someone's name that means your gorilla's name it didn't take long for my parents to find my name all day long every day i made pictures i drew on rocks and walk and my four mother's back i used the sap from leaves sap means the liquid stored of uh, or by the leaves uh, to prepare food for its uh, the uh, sap in the liquid eh? and uh, i used the juice from fruit but mostly i used mud so its name was mud oh. that's and that is what uh, they called me mud to a human mud might not sound like much but to me it was everything your is the protector who protects this fa- or his family or his family your father your parents your that means your father and mother protect you always they are the protector for you they may be protect you because they nourish you perfectly they take care of your family that means they are the parents here my family with humans call a troop a troop means your number of gorillas live in the dense or in forest was just like any other gorilla family they are retain of us my father the silver back my mother and three other adult females a young male called a black back and two other young gorillas tag and i were the babies of the group ten numbers gorillas in their family and they all lived in a troop who are the members is father the silver back the aged gorillas who are the head of this family gorilla family and his mother and three other adult females young male called here black back 
and two other young gorillas all are living with adim and two babies tag and tag is sister riban sister and riban herself were the babies then we fought from time to time but my father knew how to control us with a simple scold that means here your father scolds you don't be not at all like this his father also scold with a simple bye and for the most part we were happy to do what we are meant to do to feed and search for food and now fun fly my father was a master at leading us to the ripest fruit for our morning feast and the finest branches for our night rest we may rest at the branches of the tree he was everything a silver back is meant to be a guide a teacher a protector your parents like your parents they are the protector feeder and guide a teacher also because your parents or the your father or mother they may be teach you at home they may be feed you and nourish you happily in this way here is father the silver back was his guide a teacher and the protector for themselves their family they are true okay the perfect life gorilla babies elephant babies and human babies are not so different except than a gorilla gets to spend the day riding on his mother's back gorilla babies and elephant families and also human beings all are uh, similar lives they have to maintain similar lives there is no different except than a gorilla gets to spend the day riding on his mother's back or the tortoise slowly clearly a young gorilla begins to go further and further away from the safety of his mother's arm he learns the skill he will need as an adult how to make a nest of branches weave them tightly or they will fall apart in the middle of the right now how to beat your chest cup of your palms to amplify the sound how to move from tree to tree don't let go how to be kind strong and loyal all these things may be learned in that period as a young gorilla you make mistakes you play you learn you do it all over again it was for a while a perfect life we have to save our life and this way we have to learn so many things to protect ourselves and uh, it was the lifestyle of a gorilla do and here one day still day when the hot air and the uh, humans came why oh here is here they can change their lifestyle in this way because from the forest they can uh taken by someone uh, maybe born in helen and someone i i can tell you after reading this uh, topic uh, completely uh here it can change its life completely this boy after they captured my sister and me they put us in a cramped dark red cramped bench here a small and crowded with not much room to move and it was dark also crate means a large wooden container for transporting something that means we may keep inside it and then carry to other places from the forest to city some how i knew that in order to live i had to let my own life die but my sister couldn't let go of it she kept thinking about our home all the time when one day i noticed her looking at me without really seeing me i knew she was completely lost it was dead because she didn't forget his own life and later it was lot means it was dead that means our even sister or more sister tag was dead the temporary human it was mak my own who brought me here from the forest who opened that crate mak who took me and mak who raised me like a human baby i da- i drank from a bottle i slept in human beds sat in human chairs listened while human words swarm around me like angry bees all are telling that you are angry you are in the description like angry bees that means swarmed means a, a, 
a lot of a lot of bees are there and the murmuring or uh, made sound like this that is called a swarm its sound are uh, made by bees huh? mark's wife helen was helen mark's wife was helen was quick and la- uh, and uh, uh, to laugh but quick to anger to especially when i broke something which was a pain i can't adjust myself in that uh, family first because it, uh, it was city or in a mall and uh, that was my past and uh, it was in the forest i live in the forest but here um, it is city and i can't adjust myself here so i broke something which was uh, i broke the blender when i squeezed three tubes of toothpaste and a bo- bottle of glue into it i broke my toes attempting to swing from a lamp picture or picture on the ceiling all these i have broken i broke 46 glasses so well as well, it turns out there are many ways to break a glass every weekend mark and helen drove me to the a restaurant where they ordered something for me i went to baseball games to the grocery store to a movie theater even to the circus they didn't have a gorilla i rode a little motor bike and blew out candles on a bad cake my life as a human was exciting bone although my parents would not have approved in the forest lot oh beeper but here i have learned all these things in civilized human beings oh we uh, uh, now is hunger we have to learn what is hunger in my new life as a human i was well taken care of each at night laying alone in my pyjamas i long for the short uh, gun of the play fight and the easy safety of my nearby troop remember what happened to tag i told myself because he can't manage yourself in the city so it was stayed or my sister was stayed but i have to manage here and live with human beings remember what happened to tag i told myself don't think about the jungle would not have to think about the jungles what i left forever and i lived here for now in the city with human beings still something sometimes i lay awake wishing for the warmth of one other just like me later ivan is sent to a shopping mall where he becomes a part of stationery circus he or he becomes used to ivan uh, watching him all the time and he hardly ever thinks of the jungle to know more about ivan and what happens to him read the complete novel uh, written by uh, Catherine of Rigat the American writer the complete novel was uh, the one and only born okay now i'll tell you the summary okay just learn even the gorilla tells a part of the story of his life in this extra extract he was born with his uh, twin sister tag in central africa in a beautiful rainforest his parents called his ivan who oh, so, uh, called his sister tag because he loved to play tag with her brother he was called mud because he always doing something that means draw pictures on rock and always play with mud by which we can call his name mud uh, in the text or other a uh, question what is also given in your text okay you can also find uh, that answer uh, um, on that question also in the text okay he was called mud because he loved to draw with mud their father a silver bag a uh, silver bagged uh, gorilla was the head of their troop and he managed all his family a family of 10 members he was also the guide teacher and protector of the troop tag and mud were the babies as the babies grew older and uh, learned to stray trapped by people and uh, taken away 
Mahadeva realized quickly that he had to forget his family and his natural way of life if he wanted to survive. But Tak died because he can't manage his life in the city. Maud was raised like a human baby by a person called Mac and Helen. He grew up like uh, any other mischievous child, loved and corrected. He was happy, living among people and at heart night. He lacked for the life he had known as gorillas among gorillas. What he learned from the text? The theme is a pose. Are we right in tapping wild animals and uh, taming them? Is it true? No, I think it is not. We can't punish our, uh, animals. We can't tame like our pet. It is too bad. If, it's, uh, if it's someone uh, tells us, uh, the human beings, uh, do you feel uh, free and uh, it will be safe for us? No, it is kind not. Like this, we can't. Oh, it is not uh, right to team any animal or wild animals. The story is into two parts, then and now. Then the baby gorilla was known as mud. He lived among other gorillas in the natural habitat, uh, the rainforest of Central uh, Africa. He was brought up by his natural parents. Now, he was in the city, in the mall, uh, Helen and uh, Mac, their new owner, uh, they have to keep uh, in, the, in a uh, case and uh, also he was bound to stay with them. <coughs> Here is the chapter, uh, just to make compare, you are in the past and uh, it is present. At, uh, here at present, he is known as Ivan and past. He was, it was named Maud. Okay? If you have to learn this story or this chapter, well, but twice or thrice, better may read it and learn thoroughly. And if you feel uh, any difficulties from this text, better may call through Paul. Okay? Here is the text. And uh, another important thing that uh, I have already solved, all these questions, uh, and uh, uh, that is uh, what they called me murder and, uh, uh, here from A to understanding the text A, B, uh, C, uh, sorry, A and another B, uh, all these are given, uh, all answers are also given uh, in your holiday humor. I have written for you, uh, like this I will tell you uh, some questions, what I have given, uh, what the question that, uh, and what, and that is what they called me murder. Why did Maud's parents decide to call him by that name? Here is the answer in your holiday humor. The baby gorilla drew pictures and rocks and bark he was in mud. The parents observed this and named him mud. The name meant everything to the baby gorilla as it, as it gave him his identity in the truth. Here I have already printed this uh, as your answer. Students, Book and skip, usually reader five may understanding the text. I have already read the number one in understanding the text. The baby gorilla drew pictures and rocks and bark using mud. The parents observed this and uh, named him mud. Okay, and you are the second question. And for the most part, we were happy to do what we were meant to do. Who is being Refer to, uh, refer to as we in these lines. In these lines, we refer to Ivan and his sister Tag. And uh, what were they meant to do? They were meant to do the following, to feed and search for food and uh, nap and play. All these question answers are given in your holiday copy. If you feel any difficulties or problem, better may tell me. This is the end, this chapter, I am just going to end this chapter. There's a... Uh, even story, the past chapter of standard five story. Tomorrow I'll teach you more. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Everybody.